Welcome to Traveler's Tales. I am your host, Greg Alonzo. Today I will be your guide through history as we take a look at warrior elites, the berserkers. Before we begin, just a quick reminder that we post new videos every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday with special editions on Thursdays. Moving right along, mythology tells us one thing while archaeology tells us another. Who were the berserkers? Where did they come from? Were they drug-induced warriors or just crazy? Today we will answer these questions as we take a look at these misunderstood warriors. In Old Norse, the word berserk is one who wears a bearskin shirt. It has been proposed by many authors that the northern warrior tradition originated from hunting magic. Three main animal cults were practiced, the bear, the wolf, and the wild boar. To go berserk was to hamask, which translates as change form. The idea then was that these warriors would enter a state of wild fury with the hope of shape-shifting into a bear's form. In an Old Norse written corpus, berserkers were those who were said to have fought in a trance-like fury. This characteristic, which later gave rise to the modern English word berserk, were these warriors as attested to in Old Norse sources. They were seen as furiously violent and out of control. It has been proposed by some authors that the berserkers drew their power from the bear and they were devotees to the bear cult. This cult was extremely widespread across the northern hemisphere. According to the Icelandic sagas, berserkers maintained their religious observances despite their fighting prowess. There is a tale depicted in a challenge to single combat that was postponed by a berserker until three days after the Yule festival. With regard to funerary rites, the berserkers would lay the bodies of their dead comrades on bearskins. The bear warrior symbolism survives to this day in the bearskin caps worn by the guards of the Danish monarchs. In battle, berserkers were subject to fits of frenzy. They would howl like beasts, foam at the mouth, and gnaw at the rims of their shields. According to belief, during these fits they were immune to steel and fire. These types of outbursts caused great havoc in the ranks of the enemy. However, once the feverish behavior subsided, berserkers became weak and tame. Once again, such accounts can be found in the sagas. The Hufalnor were the wolf warriors. These frenzied warriors wore skins of wolves. In many of the sagas, the Ulfenor were presented as elite warriors. Sometimes they were even described as Odin's special warriors. Interestingly, the helm plate press from the Torslunda depicts a scene of Odin with a berserker wearing a wolf pelt and carrying a spear. Wolf warriors also appear among the legends of the Indo-Europeans, Turks, Mongols, and Native American cultures. All profess pride in the prowess of their wolf warriors. We even find representations of Germanic wolf warriors in the shields and standards captured by the Roman legions. Jofer were the berserkers who could ritually transform into wild boars. Through such a transformation, they would gain strength, bravery, and protection in battle. It has been theorized that these warriors wore boar helmets as their ritual costume. Berserkers appear prominently in a multitude of sagas as bodyguards, elite soldiers, and the champions of kings. It is generally accepted that the Byzantine emperor Constantine VII employed berserkers in his Varangian guard. The Norse warriors were recorded to have adorned animal skins and masks when practicing religious rituals. What about drugs? Were the berserkers known to have imbibed? Many scholars believe that the berserkers ingested a hallucinogenic mushroom. This mushroom was the Amanita muscaria. They took this just before battle to introduce their trans-like state. This mushroom is commonly known as fly agaric. In popular culture, berserkers have also left their mark. One who immediately comes to mind is Wolverine. Once he enters into a state of frenzy, he becomes more savage, bordering on animalistic. This brings us to the end of Warrior Elites, the Berserkers. Thank you for joining us for this edition of Traveler's Tales. If you enjoyed this video, please consider joining our channel by becoming a sponsor. Your support will enable us to continue putting out quality videos. Don't forget to like and subscribe to Traveler's Tales. This really is the best way to help our channel grow. Until we meet again at the crossroads of folklore and fact, Cartistos. Oh, <laughs>